Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Swallowed Star based on novel. So let's start. Jiolai she lost. Many spectating geniuses were all shocked. From the previous footages of Jiolai Shi, he was simply too intrepid. He did not even have to use his spirit weapon before, just his soul attack alone along with hypnotism, could kill the enemy and his moves were outstanding every time. This time, Jiolai Shi didn't even take his enemy lightly, as he regarded madman Luo Feng as a true enemy. Hence, he used hypnotism and his spirit weapon simultaneously, however he still lost. With his full strength, he still lost, Luo Feng actually won. The distant 1008 undyings, their eyes gleamed. Over half of them had regarded Luo Feng as the loser of this match from the get-go, because they were very clear about the difficulty of training in hypnotism, and just how terrifying a powerful hypnotist was to be able to immediately awaken, just how strong must one's willpower be. How calm. This punk is powerful, definitely powerful. A 10m tall man, who looked like a bull with a horn exclaimed and complimented, his voice booming like thunder. Luo Feng's victory was considered quite a surprise. The main thing was Jiu Lai Shi was long regarded by the Undyings, as one that only Bolin could withstand. After all, with his comprehension of the origin laws being that deep, his consciousness was affected by the universe energies. Hence, he wouldn't so easily be shaken. The stronger a fighter, the stronger one comprehends the origin laws, his willpower and strength were more terrifying. If it was anyone else against Jiu Lai Shi, their losing percentage would have exceeded 80%. Actually, of the top 20, other than Bolin, the other 18 would naturally feel apprehensive against Jiu Lai Shi. Even Luo Feng didn't have full confidence, however this difficult person was actually eliminated by Luo Feng. Ten arenas, within one of them, the white-robed youth carrying the blood blade won. He turned and was obviously shocked when he saw the arena Luo Feng was in, creasing his eyebrows slightly, saying, Luo Feng Luo Feng. The green-haired Lady Qian Shui, who had similarly achieved victory, looked at the distant Luo Feng in his arena, with her bright and intelligent eyes, right? During the time Luo Feng won, three victors had been decided. They were Bolin, Qian Shui, and Luo Feng. It may have seemed like a slow exchange, but Luo Feng's was actually very fast. Similarly a green-haired youth with engravings on his face revealed a smile in his arena, Big Brother, Big Brother. Qian Shui shouted and cheered. Her big brother Jiang Mo had entered the top 10 as well, both siblings entered the top 10. The victors of the 10 arenas began to emerge one by one. Bolin, Qian Shui, Luo Feng, Jiang Mo, Lancelot, Wu Ke, Ari Chen, Long Yun, Ao Pa Ti La, and the final one, Rong Jun. The battle between Ji Yu Sai Luo and Rong Jun was the longest one of the 10. Ji Yu Sai Luo was a so-called perfect spirit reader controller. From the beginning of the battle, he seemed to be in control. As the rank 2 of the training space round and the one with the most hope of being the second one to enter the primal secret area, actually, he actually lost to Savage Rong Jun. Rong Jun won, Jiu Sai Luo actually lost, the one with the most hope of getting number 2, Jiu Sai Luo, he actually lost. The spectators on site, over 900 absolute geniuses were all completely shocked. At the same time, the nine victors in the arenas, all stared hard at the blood-covered war god Rong Jun, who looked like he just came from the wilderness, powerful blade work, what terrifying blade work. Even death god Bolin creased his eyebrows. Everyone else including Luo Feng could barely contain their shocked expressions, this blade work, Luo Feng stared at savage Rong Jun looking at the huge blade, he remembered that brutal slash, that could even slice mountains. So, so his movement wasn't his strongest trait, it was his blade work instead. Luo Feng stared at the youth Rong Jun. At the same time he reminisced about his match with him from five years ago, my true aim, is the entire universe's number one, that roar seemed to resound in Luo Feng's ears once again. Number one. So, this savage Rong Jun wasn't just making bold comments, yes, Rong Jun had so much knowledge on even the four secret areas of the virtual universe company. Obviously he wasn't just a simple frog in the well. Luo Feng thought, he had so much information on the standards of the previous number ones of the competitions, and he dared to actually say his aim was to be the overall number one, meaning he had some guarantee. Before unleashing that completely shocking blade work, Rong Jun was regarded as one who would reach within the top 20, but now that his defeated Ji Yu Sai Luo, top 5, he definitely has strength who could reach top 5. The large youth that was completely black, Ao Pa Ti La said softly, that blade work, is simply, the green-robed purple-scaled man flew in mid-air, 
a formless pressure naturally caused the 1,000 geniuses to turn to him congratulations to the 10 victors. You've entered the top 10, your prize has risen to 1,000 mixed elements, and you have the right to enter the absolute beginning secret area. The green-armored purple scaled man smiled, this time's top 10 battles have been very exciting, some punks have actually really surprised me. The 1,000 geniuses along with the 1,008 undyings all listened obediently to that nine blades knight, Bolin, Qian Shui, Luo Feng, Jiang Mo, Lancelot, Wu Ke, Ari Chen, Long Yun, Ao Pa Ti La, Rong Jun, congratulations to the ten of you. In a moment, we'll pick the top five from you ten, and finally the top two from the final five. The green-armored purple scaled man smiled, as to how you are separated into your groups, according to the virtual universe system set rules on how fast you completed your match before, there were some quick and slow matches before, the fastest will battle against the slowest, the second fastest will battle against the second slowest, and so on. The 1008 undyings were shocked. The 990 spectating geniuses were shocked too. Even the 10 absolute geniuses who were about to battle were stunned. The time sequence was Bolin, Qian Shui, Luo Feng Jiang Mo, Lancelot, Wu Ke, Ari Chen, Long Yun, Ao Pa Ti La and Rong Jun. If the fastest were to match up against the slowest, then, Bolin was up against Rong Jun. Qian Shui vs Ao Pa Ti La. Luo Feng against Long Yun. Jiang Mo against Ari Chen. Lancelot against Wu Ke. The most outstanding from the earlier battle, Rong Jun, actually matched up against the terrifying death god Bolin. According to what everyone present thought, including the 1008 undyings, everyone regarded meeting the death god as a sure loss without doubt, Rong Jun against Bolin. Luo Feng looked at the distant wild youth. That's bad, even though Rong Jun's true strength is terrifying, no matter how much his strength explodes, his opponent is Bolin. And Bolin far exceeds the rest of us, Rong Jun will definitely lose. As Bolin was too strong, one could see just from the training space what the outcome would be. Being ahead of everyone by an entire tower, almost everyone held their breaths for Rong Jun. One had to know that the settings by the virtual universe system couldn't be changed and only accepted. Also, other than the nine present, no one else would want to meet Bolin. However, one would ultimately have to. And this unlucky person was Rong Jun, rest for a while, the arena duels will begin shortly. The green-armored purple scared man's voice resounded in everyone's ears, interesting, really interesting, 13, your two seedlings from the Ganwu universe country are both very powerful. Especially that Rong Jun. While others are using techniques created by ancestors and earlier generations, that Rong Jun actually created his own technique. That blade work, after fusing both the ground and space origin laws together, the strength is actually so powerful. If he didn't meet Bolin, he could have totally made it to number two, inch don't compliment him so much. He is strong, but that other one. Luo Feng doesn't seem any weaker. His mental state and willpower is perfect within his generation. One's willpower and mental state will determine how far one finally goes later on. In comparison, I actually prefer Luo Feng. As for Rong Jun, actually he's still too weak now in the star level, creating his own technique at this time is too early. Learn from others first, at least become a sector lord and when your sights have widened and your understanding of the origin laws have gotten deeper, it wouldn't be too late to create your own technique then. Makes sense. What you say is isn't exactly right. That Rong Jun creating his own technique, even though it's just the beginning, you can still see how huge that power is. And by creating one's own technique, when unleashing its strength, it becomes even greater. Other people's techniques are after all still others, your own would be best, it's much too early for that. Now isn't the time to be creating your own technique. Surrounding the scale armored giant, the other undyings began to discuss, the scale armored giant creased his eyebrows. Looking at the distant Rome Jun and Luo Feng, his eyes could hardly suppress the happiness. These two punks really surprise me time and again. Among the 1008 universe countries competing, there are actually two of them in the top 10 from our Ganwu universe country. Ha ha, if the leader knew, he'd be very happy. The 1008 undyings in the plaza, along with the 990 other geniuses were constantly discussing. However the final 10 geniuses were quietly waiting. Initially they felt a little pity for Rong Jun, but after, they all began to notice their own opponents, Long Yun. Luo Feng looked at the distant silhouette. He was tall at 2M, he had a muscular built and looked strong. Wearing a strange style of heavy armor, 
he had a helmet with a horn on it. His gaze was deep and unfathomable, and the side of his face even had some yellow fur. He was Long Yun, a very low-profile youth from the Lan Ting Universe country. He had never attracted anyone's attention. Since the beginning of the Gathering of the Million Geniuses, people like hypnotist Jiu Lai Shi, the Manka Prince, Ao Giyu Planet's genius siblings, Savage Rong Jun etc., many had reputations that were much more renowned. However no one really paid attention to Long Yun. During the training space, even though he was in the top 100, he was still in the back 50. As for making it into the top 100, Long Yun's victories were simple. These victories were not very glaring or outstanding, because everyone else's victories were simple too eye-catching. Making it into the top 10, Long Yun's victory seemed very taxing, this Long Yun's strength. Luo Feng jumped within, right, I've never really noticed him before. Very average and keeping a low profile, this was Long Yun. What seemed like a rather normal punk actually made it to the top 10 inch Luo Feng. Sitting not too far from Luo Feng was the wild youth, communicating via genetic energy, something the matter. Luo Feng looked over, be careful of Long Yun. The wild youth communicated, from my observations and information gathered before, among the top 20, 19 of them have comprehension of two origin laws. Only one person has comprehension of just one origin law. Luo Feng stepped through the gateway of gold and space laws. Rong Jun stepped through the gateway of ground and space laws. Everyone else was similar, like the death god Bolan stepped through the gateway of wind and space laws, while Yi Feng stepped through wind and wood, or that Ari Chen stepping through light and time. Of the nineteen that stepped through two gateways, eight had stepped through space, six stepped through time, the other five didn't have any comprehension of time or space at all. However, no matter the case, these nineteen are all that step through two gateway laws, only one person had comprehension of just one origin law, and that's Long Yun. The wild youth communicated, Luo Feng was shocked. He hadn't researched so much in detail. In the history of every genius competition, between the 1008 universe countries absolute geniuses, those that were able to make it into the top 20 were mostly all who comprehended two origin laws, or focused on space or time, he comprehends the ground origin laws which are very heavy and grounded. His defense is extremely strong, and his attack is very strong too. His comprehension far exceeds my single use of the ground origin laws. Be careful. Rong Jun communicated, thanks. Luo Feng replied, no need, I don't have a big chance of victory in my fight. If you can win, I'll be happy to. Rong Jun said. Luo Feng looked at Rong Jun and smiled, all the best, you never know you might be able to topple that Bolan, ha ha. You never know, however I will never admit defeat easily. Rong Jun smiled back. Half an hour later. The original arenas in the plaza had vanished, tremors began again, and five even more luxurious and beautiful arenas rose and floated above. The light cover on the arenas were translucent light membranes. These membranes, under the light ball in the sky reflected seven colors of light below, it was beautiful. As for the ten youth geniuses, they were all transported to their respective arenas. Rong Jun against Bolan, Luo Feng against Long Yun, five absolute pinnacle battles, it was about to begin. Within the beautiful arena, Luo Feng faced Long Yun. Long Yun's entire body was covered in heavy armor. His helmet had a horn on it. With a flip of his hand he brandished a terrifying huge axe, his eyes staring hard at Luo Feng, a powerful strength-based fighter. The skinny Luo Feng stood on the dark cloud shuttle, carrying the Nan Shen armament on his back. He was a proper spirit reader controller, you are very strong. A thick booming voice, almost like a bull roaring. Long Yun stared coldly at Luo Feng, emphasizing, you are much stronger than what I expected. To show you the respect I have for such a strong warrior like yourself, I will use my full strength and defeat you. The moment his words ended, yellow energy began to emanate from his body. This yellow energy rippled about, the surrounding space seemed to almost condense and solidify. A formless heavy pressure was formed, this made the distant Luo Feng's expression change, it's, too abnormal monster this, this madness, this Long Yun is really sly and simply too devious. The spectating 990 geniuses were all shocked. Even the distant 1008 undyings, among those who were watching this match, many of them revealing a look of shock, right? to be able to rely on only the ground origin laws to make it into the top 10. Also, to have such deep comprehension of the ground laws, yet not stepping into the space laws is the weird thing. But it's really true, it's just this way. 
And just his domain alone was already that terrifying. Luo Feng squinted, staring at the distant wild fighter Long Yun, who was releasing his domain. The top ten of the universe, all of them had their domains, and most of their domains were at level nines. Having a domain wasn't strange at all, however this wild fighter's domain had almost perfectly melded the ground origin laws with it. The moment he released his domain, the space around it felt almost like it condensed and solidified. It was terrifying, his comprehension of the ground origin laws is even stronger than Rome Jun's. As for the space origin law comprehension, there's no way to confirm, but from the look of his domain, it shows that his fusion is almost perfect. Luo Feng understood that he was in a predicament. He had comprehended two origin laws and melded them together perfectly. Like the Nanshan armament, which required two types of origin laws to be fused together. However, this was something Luo Feng was able to achieve only when he actually used Nanshan armament. As for himself, after all the gold origin laws were reliant on the golden horned beast, and the space origin laws were reliant on the Mosha clan clone, using them together was his earth body. Luo Feng's improvement was too quick indeed. The resulting fusing efficiency was not able to keep up with the golden horned beast and Mosha clan's speed, let the battle being. The green armored purple scaled man shot a look at the distant Long Yun in the arena and said. The five battles began immediately go. Standing on the dark cloud shuttle in mid-air, Luo Feng pointed at Long Yun. Immediately nine golden energy flows shot out from the dark golden long rod on his back, immediately forming nine golden blades, with the golden energy wrapped around it. The nine golden rainbows were like nine golden dragon heads, roaring as they rushed towards that wild fighter Long Yun solidly standing on the ground, nine golden rainbows, let's see how many you can block. Luo Feng looked on. The yellow domain with a diameter of 50m seemed incredibly solid. The nine golden rainbows' speeds dropped drastically the moment they entered the domain, so much so that one could even see the difference in speed. It was almost as though piercing through the domain was incredibly difficult. When they reached about 50m away from Long Yun's body, their speeds had already dropped till only one third of the original, their power were also reduced compared to before. The golden rainbows clashed with his armor, Long Yun didn't even budge, this domain has already, in mid-air, Luo Feng's expression changed greatly, earth's thickness and heaviness, space and domain best combination, these three are perfectly fused. The distant 1008 undyings, that tall and huge bull man laughed loudly, it seems like just from his domain's pressure alone, Long Yun ranks number one in the top ten, Bolin emphasizes more on speed, Long Yun emphasizes on defense, these two are completely different, this Luo Feng is unlucky. The last time, he met the difficult Jiu Lai Shi, and now the even stronger Long Yun. Ha ha, when the distant undyings were discussing Long Yun, he had already taken a big step, and rushed towards Luo Feng. The running Long Yun, every step made the entire arena rumble, almost as though an entire mountain, was rushing forward, following which his body became a blur and flew into the air. Luo Feng immediately used the nine threads and left nine images in mid-air, dodging far away. Rumble. Long Yun landed on the ground, Long Yun, take my strongest move. In mid-air, Luo Feng roared, gritting his teeth, sky-piercing formation. The nine golden rainbows immediately stopped in mid-air, they simultaneously swiftly flew together and fused. These nine golden lights immediately became one body as large amounts of blurry golden threads weaved through each other. The golden light it formed also constantly shrank, and the golden threads were constantly growing thinner. Even though it seemed like it was shrinking. In truth, every golden blade was formed from nine little blades. This golden light fusion was actually made from 81 little golden blades together, and these 81 blades were small in form. The only thing was it was closing the distance between each of them. In the blink of an eye, the 81 blades had fused perfectly, forming one single true golden blade. This golden blade didn't seem like an illusion at all, it was solid. At one third of a meter long, it was completely formed by the 81 little golden blades melding together. As they continued to condense and tightly fuse, simultaneously countless golden threads weaved through it, causing this blade to be incomparably real and perfect. Examining it further, one couldn't even find a trace or mark of the parts, almost as though it had always been this one-third M long golden blade. The golden engravings on its surface caused the entire blade to emit an ancient aura. Nanshan armament second level, sky-piercing formation, the golden blade wrapped with the golden energy flow was almost like a comet, leaving behind a golden energy flow as it streaked towards Long Yun. Long Yun's expression changed, the yellow domain he controlled shook the ground. Like a needle piercing through layers of cloth, even after entering the yellow domain all the way, it still had 80% of its power, raw. Long Yun waved his terrifying huge axe, the area around the axe seemed to be pressurized, immediately hitting that golden blade, rumble, the arena shook violently. Long Yun took three heavy steps back, every step itself shaking the arena. 990 spectating geniuses, 
along with the 1008 Undyings were all surprised as they watched this scene, surprise. What a surprise. This Luo Feng has not only reached the second level of the 10,000 threads, his gold origin law's comprehension has improved greatly too. He can actually use the sky piercing formation. A group of Undyings were shocked. This time's competition not only had the once in a trillion years exceptional genius death god Bolan, simultaneously it had others that could definitely made it to number one in the other competitions. Jiu Lai Shi, Luo Feng, Ji Yu Sai Luo, Rong Jun, Long Yun, if they were in the earlier competitions, they definitely could get number one. Even if it wasn't number one, they'd have made it to the top three. And this time, it was a gathering of the elite. In terms of origin laws, Luo Feng was indeed much better at his gold laws than the space laws. One must know Luo Feng had began to feel the gold laws much earlier, and in terms of difficulty, space laws were much harder than the gold laws. Ever since he began using the nine threads. Fusing the nine threads along with his gold laws comprehension, Luo Feng could fuse the nine blades into one to form the sky piercing formation. This was his big trump card, he had no rush to use it. When he was in the training space sixth tower before, he faced 10,000 blood hair mammoths. Against 10,000, Luo Feng's blades weren't enough, naturally using the nine made more sense. Against Long Yun however, 1v1, the sky piercing formation was stronger, very good. Long Yun's eyes gleamed, immediately rushing forward with a stride. He managed to deflect the power. Only suffering light injuries. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows, the power of the sky piercing formation was shocking, one could be said to be invincible in the star level for being able to use the first dream blade formation. If that was the case, then using the sky piercing second formation was even more invincible. This was comparable to even the golden horned beast in the same level, or even pressuring it. It was mentioned before that the golden horned beast wasn't the crazy training types. This meant that only in these pinnacle genius competitions will one even meet a match. Rumble. Long Yun rushed into the sky, the yellow energy flow following and covering that huge axe. Luo Feng however had long formed nine images and dodged, go. Luo Feng dodged and roared. The golden blade once again pierced towards Long Yun, rumble. It seemed like a simple straightforward pierce. However, it was infused with unimaginable strength, only slightly weakening in Long Yun's heavy domain. However, Long Yun still only stepped back and deflected the power. Time and again the golden blade pierced forward. Long Yun was like a tortoise blocking it over and over. He wanted to chase Luo Feng, however Luo Feng's speed on the dark cloud shuttle was too fast. Within the five arenas, the matches ended one after another. Bolin against Rong Jun, Bolin wins. Qian Shui against Ao Pa T La, Qian Shui wins. Jiang Mo against Ari Chen, Ari Chen wins. Lancelot against Wuka, Wuka wins. Only one battle remained at this point. That was between Long Yun and Luo Feng. Long Yun was like a shelled warrior blocking the sky piercing formation time and again. Even though his body's injuries were still within his control, the Golden Blade's attacks had also affected his speed, making him unable to immediately explode and chase after Luo Feng. The fighter's close range explosion in speed was very shocking, enough to close in and kill a controller. It was a pity, the sky piercing formation stopped Long Yun, and he couldn't do anything against Luo Feng. And Luo Feng had used even soul attacks, yet he couldn't do anything against Long Yun. These two were at a stalemate. Minutes and seconds passed and the arena space gradually shrank. The longest one of these pinnacle fights lasted was 10 minutes. The arena would continue to shrink till its diameter was but 1 m. This was to stop a controller from constantly flying far away, a constant rule throughout. Damn, Luo Feng's in trouble. As the arena continues to shrink more, there will be only 1 kilometer in diameter left. Luo Feng's circling space will shrink too. It will be very disadvantageous to him. When there was only 100 m in diameter left, Luo Feng could only force a smile. 100 m at star level 9, just one step could close that distance. The more important thing was that Long Yun's domain maintained the highest of pressures within an area of 50 meter. Considering that the arena's diameter was only 100 meter now, his pressure almost covered the entire arena space. That meant that no matter where Luo Feng flew to avoid him, he would still be in the domain. In terms of domain pressures, no one was Long Yun's match even Bolin would have been weaker. In that little area, Long Yun's face flushed red. He was madly dancing with the huge axe, the domain pressure had completely stifled Luo Feng, persevering until the space had only a diameter of 50 m left, Luo Feng finally fell. His loss seemed unfair, yet not unfair at all. It was unfair because if the space hadn't shrunk, Long Yun would never have gotten the chance to close in and kill him. It wasn't unfair because in terms of law comprehension and fusion and usage, his opponent was indeed stronger in every way. The top five had been picked out, they were Bolin, Qian Shui, Ari Chen, Wuka and Long Yun. 
Three men and two ladies, very exciting, these fives battles have indeed been exciting with many surprises. The green-armored purple-scaled man smiled and looked at the one thousand youths, everyone take a rest, in a second, these five will engage in a winner's round duel. The rules are, every one of the five will have to battle each of the other four. Each victory will get one point, and the final points will determine the top one and two. After a while, Luo Feng lifted some tea and drank, Rong Jun sat beside him and both of them watched the distant battles in the arenas, what a pity. Rong Jun sighed, you actually reached the sky-piercing formation. You definitely had the power to make it to number two, if one said that Long Yun was strong in defense, then you Rong Jun are strong in offense. If you hadn't met Bolin, you could have the chance to make it to number two. Luo Feng laughed too. These two exchanged glances and laughed. These two were both strong-willed and well-planned people. Luo Feng insisted on his path of a controller, while Rong Jun insisted on his own created techniques. Each road had trillions of pathways, the main thing was being committed to one's choice. After all any road could lead to becoming an absolute strong warrior. The only fear would be that in doubting oneself. In this genius battle, the two of them were considered unlucky. One of them met Bolin, while the other lost due to the shrinking of arena it had ended. The journey for both of them had ended here, as they were finally able to reach within the top ten, this Long Yun Shaw is strong. Rong Jun exclaimed, as he looked at him defeat the Manka Prince in the arena, his domain fusion is stronger than you, however his axe work, cannot compare to your blade work. Luo Feng said, look, that Qian Shui, is really powerful, she won, she's the only controller of the top five. However, her attack strength obviously cannot compare to your sky-piercing formation. If you were there, you could have easily defeated Qian Shui. Rong Jun said. While they chatted and watched the battles. The matches passed by quickly. Soon, the final results were out. Bolin, after four consecutive victories, he became the undisputed number one. Long Yun, with three wins one loss, became number two. He lost against Bolin. Bolin's blade work was simply too fast and vicious. Bolin gained the right to enter the primal secret area, and everybody accepted that. As for Long Yun entering the primal secret area, that aroused many people's suspicion. After all, Jiu Lai Shi, Luo Feng, Rong Jun were all comparable to him. However if any of these made it into the primal secret area, they too would have aroused the same suspicion similarly, without any clear exceptional lead, everybody wouldn't be convinced. The 1000 geniuses, and 1008 undyings stood in the plaza and listened to the purple armored purple scaled man speak, number 1 and 2, numbers 3 to 10, numbers 11 to 100, numbers 101 to 1000, the four levels have been picked out. This time's pinnacle genius competition of humans, has ended perfectly today. The green armored purple scaled man smiled, you all have been a very exceptional batch. I believe that in 10 to 100 eras, there will be many of you whose names alone will shake the entire universe, later there will be a specialist contacting you to take you to our virtual universe company's main headquarters. There, you will gather and later head to the primal universe, from today on, your paths will no longer be ordinary, our virtual universe company will use our full strength to assist you. As for whether you become powerful beings who shake the entire universe, or normal warriors, or die midway, it all depends on yourself. Work hard, your path to become strong has just begun. The green-robed purple scaled man's voice resounded in everyone's minds. This genius competition had finally ended. Distance the genius battle had finally ended. Whether it was the mighty nine blade knight, or the one thousand and eight undyings, they all left immediately. Luo Feng and the one thousand youth still remained there as the worker beside them shouted, everybody please stay for a while. We still have some matters to discuss with you all regarding us taking you to the virtual universe company headquarters. After a while, within restaurant number two in the plaza, Luo Feng and the 1000 geniuses sat in the meeting room, let me introduce myself, I am Mana. At about 2.67 meter, wearing a smile with a streak on his neck, the man stood at the front of the meeting room, as our virtual universe company has to arrange for the universe ships to specially go receive you all, can everybody please fill up the paper in front of you with the correct planet address, and I will collect them. Luo Feng picked up the pen and began to write, Ganwu Universe Country, Black Dragon Mountain Starfield, Milky Way Galaxy, by Land Star. The 1000 youths from the many universe countries were writing, do we even need this? Just tell us where to gather and we'll take our own ships and head over, wouldn't that do right? There's no need to pick us up, it's troublesome. Among the group there was some shouting. Mana smiled and said, as the travel will pass many universe countries, it is very very far away, and the normal universe ships travel very slow within the dark universe. To actually reach our company's headquarters, would require a very long time. To save everybody's time, naturally, our virtual universe company will specially arrange for the best universe ships to receive you, this 1000 here, 
the one that's the furthest from our headquarters, is 1.5 billion light years away. Mana smiled, and the ratio of distance between the dark universe compared to the real universe is 1 to 1008 1000 times. Even if one moved at light speed all the way, it would still require 150 years to reach. Silence. The initially bustling meeting room went silent. Even Luo Feng, who was seriously filling out the form couldn't help but look up. 150 years, my god, 150 years. A beast man, who looked like a lion in the corner exclaimed as he was shocked. The longest I've sat in a universe ship and travelled was for only about two months, this 150 years. The universe was too huge. Back then, just heading from Earth to Horned Dragon Star, by utilizing that universe travel within the Black Dragon Mountain star field, required about half a month. And that was only one star field. Above the star field, was the biggest star sector, and every star sector was incredibly vast. That farthest away from the headquarters being 1.5 billion light years, wasn't an exaggeration at all, if everybody took their own ships, one ST point would be that the speed is too slow, hence it would require too much time, two ND point would be that due to long period of travel, the amount of energy wasted by the ship would be shocking, three road and also the most important point is that when you travel in the dark universe, there are some special spots which are not safe, you'll meet universe pirates, or even some other races that will rob you. To all here, safety is of utmost importance. On the stage, Mana smiled, right now the best normal universe ships can at most do a couple of times light speed in the dark universe. This means that the travel would still take far too long. Luo Feng nodded. By reaching light speed in the actual universe, according to the rules of calculation, one could immediately reach the dark universe. However, there was a base speed but no upper limit. As long as your ship was good enough, one could reach even faster, one time. Two times. Three times light speed. See if your universe ship was good enough, you could reach that speed in the dark universe. A C-grade Black Dragon Mountain ship could reach up to 1.5 times the light speed in the dark universe. Even with that speed, for a distance of 1.5 billion light years, one would still have to fly continuously for a 100 years collection complete. Beams of light landed on each person's paper, and a screen appeared at the front of the meeting room. On it was a large galaxy map, and beside it were complicated numbers and symbols. Mana took a look and turned back to the 1000 geniuses, smiling, attention all, your written addresses have all been recorded in our file. According to your 1000 different locations and our ship resources, we've already chosen the best route for each of you. How long will it take how long will it take for us to reach the virtual universe headquarters? A few couldn't help but ask. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows too and stared at Mana on the stage. 150 years. 100 years. No matter what it was, it was still too long, as you all have different distances, the arranged ships will travel at different speeds too. I can still guarantee you that the maximum travel time will be three years, three years, so short, how is that possible? How fast can that universe ship reach for it to travel 1.5 billion light years in three years? The 1000 geniuses, including Luo Feng, all mostly stared wide eyed. They were anything but naive, even Luo Feng, who had participated in two Ganwu auctions, was shocked. Three years of traveling in the dark universe, with a distance of 1.5 billion light years, that meant the ship could reach 50 times light speed. This was simply an unbelievable number. A C grade ship was normally a little above one time. Even an E grade ship was probably just a few times, like Luo Feng's acquired automaton ship, that level of technology was much more than a regular human's three grade ship. However that automaton ship could at most travel 10 times light speed in the dark universe, our virtual universe company will arrange an F-grade ships for everybody. Mana smiled, and these aren't the easily purchasable F-grade ships. But rather, special F-grade ships that are only manufactured in the virtual universe company. The technology far exceeds that of regular F-grade ships within universe countries. Silence. Stunned. Shocked. F-grade ship, the Yunmo planet master, who Yangbo spent countless amounts of wealth to get one F-grade ship. Many undyings couldn't even afford it. Just from those two facts, one could see how expensive and valuable an F-grade ship was. Within the many Starfield empires, like the Black Dragon Mountain Empire, there wasn't even one F-grade ship in the entire empire. Even though the universe countries normally had it, the majority of the F-grade ships couldn't even reach 50 times light speed in the dark universe, incredible. Sitting on Luo Feng's right was the Manka Prince. The Manka Prince Wuka stared at Mana on the stage and said softly, really incredible. It actually, actually can send 1,000 F-grade ships, and all of them with such technology. My imperial father had said before that the virtual universe company's technology is like the sacred land for humanity's technology. But that's just simply too incredible. 
Among the groups in humanity, the virtual universe company's technology ranked first. Even in the vast universe, within countless races, those who were actually be able to compete with the virtual universe company's technology were far and few. Only races like the automaton race, or other very few races had such level, Mr. Mana, can we buy these F-grade ships? Someone shouted, right, can we buy them? The Manka Prince shouted, these are internal items of our virtual universe company. As core members within our company, you all can definitely purchase them. However, you can only use them for yourselves. You can't sell it to others. If you want to sell, you have to sell it back to our virtual universe company. Mana smiled, the only thing is that these F-grade ships are too expensive. Even among the undyings, many of them can't afford them. You all shouldn't be too anxious, train hard, and when you become absolute warriors within our company, the company may just give you one altogether. A group of the youth smiled immediately. Absolute warriors were given an F-grade universe ship. To actually be allocated one, just what level of strength did one have to reach? To these bunch of star-level punks, that was indeed too far away, awesome. Luo Feng couldn't help but mutter. Madman. The manka prince Wuka beside turned over and said softly, don't listen to this guy's boast so much. There's no such thing as a free meal in the universe. If you want to receive one, you'd definitely have to pay for it in one way or another, that's what my father said. However let me tell you, the virtual universe company is definitely a sacred land for the human race, with countless treasures and techniques. It's a pity we didn't enter the primal secret area, but it's still okay. We've entered the absolute beginning area, there are many perks there too. You'll know in the future, Luo Feng smiled and nodded, let me inform you all. Mana smiled, the top 1000 ranks, the prize money for each is being sent now, please go check your bank accounts when you return, as for now, everyone can leave. When our virtual universe company sends a special letter to you all later to inform you of the pickup time, please be present at the written addresses and be ready. Don't let us not be able to find you. Mana smiled, so then, go back and accompany your family and friends. Very soon, you'll all be leaving your home for a long period of time. The bustling meeting room became silent suddenly. Right? They'd have to leave their homes for a long time. Just heading to the headquarters alone took three years, and that was in the expensive F-grade universe ship they sent. One had to say, facing the vast universe, just the travel alone took up a shocking amount of time. Human silhouettes began to vanish from the meeting room, everyone left. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.